In our health cast today, researchers at the Sylvester Comprehensive Cancer Center now have a greater understanding of why a deadly form of brain cancer is so hard to fight. Dr. Antonio Yavarone, uh, who led that study along with a Korean researcher, discovered that glioblastoma brain cancer cells actually mimic healthy neurons. So they essentially hide from the treatment. They basically establish these type of connections all throughout the normal brain. And by doing that, they hide. They hide from the therapy. And they remain somehow dormant, we believe, during the therapy. But then as soon as the therapy is removed, they start growing again. So the doctor goes on to say that specialists can now design therapies to target these hidden cancer cells. Approximately 15,000 Americans are diagnosed with this kind of brain cancer every year, making it the second most frequent type of brain tumor. And researchers are also learning much more about how sleep can impact migraine headaches. Participants in a recent study reported on both their perceived sleep quality and sleep duration, which allowed researchers to compare it to their actual sleep time and quality. It turns out participants who perceived poor sleep quality and duration had a 22% higher chance of getting a migraine attack the next morning. And researchers were also surprised to find out that there was no increased risk of migraines from mood issues, such as depression or anxiety. Nearly 500, uh, uh, ranging from a uh, 500,000 people, ranging from ages 7 to 400 people, actually were enrolled in this study, about 500 people.